Okay, um, this bacon's now had uh, four days in the fridge. Um, fridge is a little bit too cold and certainly doesn't have enough airflow, ideally for hanging bacon. Um, so it's now going to come out, but I've, I didn't really want to leave it um, outside for too long in this hot weather. But that's what I'm going to do now. I've um, got some malt vinegar, some kitchen towel. I'm just going to sort of pat the outside of it. The um, malt vinegar does one or two things. It, uh, it um, repels the flies, uh, but also um, it makes the surface quite sticky. So when I get to smoke it, it'll pick up a bit more smoky flavour. Then I'm going to put it into muslin. Again, that's a protection I would use in the summer and it just stops um, stops the flies getting to it. Um, so I'll keep talking about flies. Um, this should be salty enough that no eggs can possibly uh, germ hatch and, and germinate in it. That's theoretically the plan, but obviously these things um, sometimes um, are a little bit um, uh, imprecise. So, you know, the, all these steps you take to try and avoid the worst thing to happen, in, which is your meat spoiling. Um, so, yeah, let's do that now. OK, here is that meat now ready to hang. I'll just put some muslin around it. Right, okay, that's now hanging up. Um, if it rains, I'll bring it into the shed. Um, and the idea of this now gets a fairly good steady stream of air, which will gradually dry it out, uh, again, increasing its long levity. And um, once it gets to, it started off 1.5 kilograms, this piece of meat. Once it gets to about 1.2, it will be pretty much cured as much as we'd like it. Um, oh, it's my neighbor's dog. Uh, if it gets down to one kilogram, you can literally eat it raw after that. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's already had four days in the fridge. Normally I'd hang a piece of meat for ten days, but in this sun I'd probably only do um, three or four more days. I'll check it daily just to make sure it's okay. It's got a double piece of muslin on it now so it can no, no flies can get to it. And then um, over here in the corner is my cold smoker. It's a bit... Um, uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's literally just a, a metal box which you um, use to burn some um, fumes, um, some uh, chips down there and the smoke rises and the meat will catch up here but I'll do on that on another recording. Okay, cheers then, bye. Okay, and here we have the finished bacon. Well, not quite finished, this is unsmoked bacon. This has now been outside for two and a half days. It's been a very hot weather, so it's dried actually quite nicely. Um, so between this time in the fridge and uh, ooh, Vegas and uh, outside, um, hopefully between those two uh, events that we've got some nice bacon. I might just do a slice of it, a couple of slices of it, just to um, see how it tastes like. Uh, but next and final step will be to smoke it. Uh, and I shall do that in the next few days. Cheers then, bye. Uh, actually edit, um, I just want to weigh it. So it started off as uh, 1.5 kilograms. It's now 1.28 kilograms. So um, yeah, that's perfect, perfect weight for um, a, a bacon. Um, so yeah, that still need, obviously now needs to be, it, you'd have to cook this still though. Uh, if it got down to one kilogram, you could, you technically wouldn't need to cook it, but I've never tried it personally. Okay, cheers then, bye. Right, morning, it's uh, smoking day, and um, the meat's a little bit drier than I'd like. So basically what you'd really like is quite a tacky surface, so that allows all the flavour molecules from the smoke to to um, um, stay on the meat. But it would still um, taste, um, you should, should, should still be able to taste it um, after the smoke. I um, use this stuff, which is uh, beech, um, and um, or you can use oak, or in fact any, any hardwood or fruitwood. Um, but beech is quite a nice flavour, I think, for um, bacon. So right, let's um, put it in the cold smoker. Okay, I've put my um, beech dust in this uh, spiral. This goes at the bottom of the cold smoker. You put a tea light in here and it starts smouldering along. And it usually gives you about a 12 hour smoke. Um, you've got to make sure that it doesn't leap over the... Um, doesn't leap over these metal sides because otherwise it, it could spread uh, and you'll get too quick a smoke. Um, but that should be fine if you press it down reasonably firmly so it doesn't burn too quickly either. But not so hard that it goes out. Right, okay. 
Okay, this is my coal smoker. It's just literally a box with a vent at the top. Um, and um, I put the put the uh, wood dust down at the bottom, hanging meat at the top. The idea is a coal smoker, because by the time the smoke gets to the meat, it's cold, so it's not cooking the meat at all. So you can do cheese and things like that on here. Um, hot smokers tend to be um, only about four or five inches tall, so the smoke is still hot and the heat and cooks the meat at the same time. Right. Let's uh, light the candle. Ooh. That's light. Is that light? Yep, that's light. Okay, I'll just let that catch and I'll keep an eye on it. Um, it should smoke for about 12 hours now. Okay, I just check. Yep, that seems to be smoking quite nicely. There we have it. After about... 12 hours um, in the smoker that is now completely smoked and the smoking also helps preserve it and dry it out slightly so um yeah that's now done that's now a piece of smoked bacon i will um probably slice it for you in this uh or most of it so you, you maybe leave a little bit so you can dice that for stews and things like that um it's a little bit firmer um it's, it's fine it's absolutely fine it's a little bit firm so um i wouldn't want to necessarily keep that hanging around for too long it gets harder and harder as time goes on uh, and you don't want to get to the point where you're struggling to cut it so um that's why i'll, I'll probably cut it for you now um on in the uh, in that device and then you know it will never go off and you can keep it for as long as you want to eat it then i'll um Direct message me um, so we can arrange a day for me to drop this off and um, I'll take some honey off your hands. Cheers and bye.